up, poor fam? You know what time it is. Let's get into this. All right, what's up, poor fam? What's up? Ryan and JT in the house again. Ah, been what's, a long time. What's up, brother? Busy, busy, busy. I ain't talked to your ass in a week or so. Trying to get uh, a life together. Get a life. Trying to to get everything to blend and mesh and work, and it's just been hectic. Oh, that shit's impossible. You know, it's especially, you know, got two kids, you know, both parents got full time jobs, and it's just constant, 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 you know. So, but, anyways, enough of that crap. Yeah, it's just been busy, man. have been watching some stuff, uh, been looking into some things and uh, stuff like that, so that's all good. And um, I've been watching weird shit. Yeah. You know? What? Um, <laughs> well, like a lot of series stuff. Uh, dude, this is not horror related by no means, but have you seen the series The Warrior? Uh, no. It was a Cinemax thing. Uh, they just released it on Netflix uh, last week or week before last. And it's there's three seasons out right now, and basically, what it's about is it's about uh, Chinatown in San Francisco back in like the I don't know 1920s 1930s, right? And uh, these Chinese people come over on a boat. Well, one of them's like a complete fucking badass, and the whole gist of the first few episodes is he came to America. He's looking for his sister. And he's like, um, it's almost like watching the old Kung Fu series. Okay. I mean, the guy's a complete badass, you know, gets off the boat. He ends up joining this, uh, this gang called the Tao. And, uh, there's two rival gangs. Well, there's actually three, but there's two main gangs that are in Chinatown. And it's about their war between each other. And there's a lot of love story and a lot of nudity which is what drew me into it you cut my um, eye you but cut even my even i was like you know my wife and i are watching this and i'm like i'm like god damn there's a lot of nudity in this and my wife's like yeah it's a little much well if you think about it though i mean back in those times that's yeah. you know that's what it but, was uh, you know but like you know then it like one of the main characters is a uh, the sergeant for the police force and he's not really a good cop but he's not necessarily bad either you know right um he's you know well he's not on the up and up <laughs> you're, you're growling over there my dude. A uh, he's not necessarily on the up and up but he is i think deep down he's a good guy but he's like doing some shady shit you know and uh man it's it, it's been a really cool series we're about five or six episodes into it and a lot of gore a lot of gore okay um i mean people getting cut up and fucking beat to nice, death nice nice wire know. a lot of wire foo uh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. i mean i mean i'm a I fucking love martial arts movies and stuff oh yeah. Like that, so. yeah dude i think you dig this man if you I'll if you watch it, it. I'll check it out. it's called the warrior it's not horror related i just it's one of the things we've been watching i've been waiting for fucking witcher new season to come out yeah man. yeah God dang, I, yeah. I love that freaking show I yeah like it, man. Uh, uh we watched the first season of it and we just we haven't went past that yet. right uh yeah, there's so much stuff on you know right that's the whole thing is that you know you got to prioritize what you're gonna watch and what oh, you're yeah. not gonna watch and yeah but like that one i've been waiting on dude it's what um uh, i've been three watching seasons, a, i think go ahead i think it's three seasons yeah the, the they just released the third season but uh yeah and i think i've already watched all the way through that like i just i like henry uh cavill or Savile cavill. cavill however you want to say his yeah. name i really love the way he did that character yeah like oh, i yeah. think he killed that shit and yeah. um that's part yeah of he was awesome season. in the first season man I yeah was, i yeah, was for sure. really impressed with that um you know talk about some stuff so it's made you watch something <laughs> so and i actually want to talk so, about this because i i i, I want to i want to give i have watched this trailer probably but 30 times Okay, so um, go. You, I want so you to go ahead. so. Let, let me start out with this. I have been 
avoiding this trailer like the plague. <laughs> um, and the reason why is because I absolutely fucking adore the original movie. Um, and I was like, you can't fucking do this. You can't do this. You can't, uh, you We're know, talking I'm, about the crow, I'm, of course, I'm fucking dead set against most remakes. And what we're talking about is the remake of the crow. Uh, I absolutely love the first movie. I love every fucking thing about it. It's one of my top uh, five. There, there's it, only on five one list, thing about that movie that I really can't stand. And that's probably the ending credits. Uh, cause I just, it's just such a kick ass movie, you it's know? Amazing. Um, but, uh, I will say this. I was intrigued with this because of Bill Skarsgård. I think he's a fantastic actor. Uh, I love a lot of the stuff that he does. You know, of course he played Pennywise. Uh, he was in that series, Hemlock Grove. He's been in Castle Rock. He's done a bunch of stuff and we were not even going to get into his brother. Um, but, uh, I really dig Bill Skarsgård, but man, I avoided this, this, uh, trailer like the plague because I was like, I, I don't want to see it now that Ryan has forced me to watch this trailer. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see this movie because it's a different, it, it, it's kind of the same story, but it's different. You know, it's, uh, it's not like they're trying to remake it. it is the way it felt like to me. It's like, it's like they're telling a different story, but it's the same aspect, that same dark love never dies. You're going to come back from the dead to fight for the woman you love. Right. And in this movie, by what we get from the trailer, apparently, uh, apparently he may be able to save her at the end of the movie, which is different from the original in the original. He knew there was no, she was gone. Um, he knew he was not going to be able to save her. And in this movie, it seems like she is stuck between, uh, our, our reality and death. She's stuck in purgatory. And I think from what they were alluding to in this trailer is, is he's going to be able to save her. Yeah, I don't, And that really excites me. Something. So we all know I've, I love this. I love the original crow. I just watched it the other day again. Um, it's like one of my, it's in my top five and it's like high on my list in my top five, uh, of all time period movies that I love. Um, Brandon Lee, of course, fucking just phenomenal. Yeah. Killed that shit in that movie. That's the way they filmed the original. We've talked about it a million times. It's a great film. What's um, his name? Draven? Eric what? Draven. Eric, which, Eric Draven. Which yeah. I couldn't remember the, the first which name. Which is the same name as the same characters in this movie. Right, right. <clears throat> which is what a lot of people get hooked on. They're like, man, they should have just, just gave them different names and did made somebody it, new. Like they did with the other ones. But no, they did, I they mean, did like two or three other ones. With this, they're um, doing a retelling of correct. the same story. So, that being said, like I told you, when I, I first watched this thing, someone posted it on Land of the Creeps uh, page. And they're like, hey, check this out. Creeps. Yeah, shout out over there, everybody. L-O-T-C for life. Love you guys. Um, But so uh, they put it up, and I, my initial thing was, this is just fucking awful. That was my initial reaction to it because I'm a huge fan of the original. Um, That being said, <coughs> I've watched this, like I said, about 30 times, and it's growing on me. I like the music I've heard in it so far. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the original I've, had a killer. Oh, yeah. Well, and well, it's I mean, just the, the whole atmosphere. Yeah. But um, I have, can't judge this movie hundred percent yet till I've seen it. You know what I'm saying? But I liked what I've seen, like as far as like the gore in it, the, the scenes that are fucking really pretty fucking brutal. Um, something I do like that they didn't do in the first one, which is the one thing I, I didn't, that I just being a fucking, you know, movie connoisseur, mm -hmm. um, something I didn't necessarily agree with, but it is what it is, is the fact that Eric come back a year later, perfect condition, right? Body not deteriorating, nothing wrong, all that jazz. 
in this one, he is like literally comes right back. Because right. he wakes up right. in the back in the room where they got killed at. From what it looks like in the preview. Right, right. So he is, and actually, it could be different. I mean, it it, it could be, it could but, be. But from what I see, from, from what, what I'm they're getting showing from the preview, us. is that he literally comes back, like right, you know, which would make more sense. I'm back from the dead, baby. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, back. I'm gonna give it. You know, I'm definitely gonna watch it. Of course. Um, you know, I just. Uh, oh yeah, I'm absolutely gonna watch it. Just don't get it twisted. I'm gonna watch it, and I'm probably gonna enjoy it, but it will not be better than the original. I, we'll see. No, there is no we'll we will see. see. <laughs> there is no we will see. We'll now, see. it may be better for there's, you guys. There's very few remakes that I feel are better than the original. Well, there, there are a couple. For sure. There are a couple. But I mean, but, and everyone has their own preference in movies. And I'm going to tell you how I feel about it, but it's cool. You guys can do what you want to do. We'll do what we want to do. And everyone has their, that's what's great about everybody. We you have do our, what the fuck you want. Exactly. We have our own fuck opinions on shit, but I'm still going to show love and watch it for the genre. You know what I mean? Um, Got to keep it going. Got to keep it real. Because, I mean, there's not a whole lot coming out anymore. So no, we got to go out no. and show support for these movies when they're made. You know what I mean? Well, and it's weird because a lot of the stuff that's coming out is not getting major theatrical releases. Right. For instance, I just found out the new Salem's Lot, straight to streaming. Yeah. It's not going to the theater. Uh, another one that's coming out, and I am excited for this movie, comes out next week on Shudder, is uh, The Devil Comes to Late Night. Mm. I don't know if you've seen the trailer not. for that. It looks really good. Really yeah. good. It is very 70 horror-ish looking film. And uh, Oh, wait. Yes. Yes. Yes, yeah. I have. Okay, so you yes, have seen have. that trailer. Yeah. Yes, uh, it actually, it's a Shutter exclusive and comes out next weekend, next Friday, I think. Um, I'm I'm excited to see that. You know, it's crazy, man. I was just driving past the movie theater um, a couple days ago with the family, and um, we took the kids out for, it was like a, it was a, a, pa- a child guardian dance you know, so it'd be mother, father, or, you know, father, daughter, son, mother, dance thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. So we took the kids down there. I videotaped so mom could dance with both the boys and stuff, you know. Do dance. It was great. Fun time. But I drove past the movie theater. We we're going to go. We went out to got some Mexican right after that. And um, uh, that's drove, where the horror comes in. Yeah. No, the story. Like, tell you what, man. Shout out El Gay and Rala, dude. I have never dude. had fucking ever. Have I had a bad experience with the food there ever? Me either. Food has I, always been on point. It's all they're consistent, yeah. constant. Um, but anyways, yeah. Before, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. shout out man. love, love that place. Food. Love that place. Which is why they're packed all the time. But anyways, um, drove past the theater and I was like, damn, I couldn't even tell you what's playing or what's even even coming out because there's Cause almost there's not a lot. There's nothing coming out anymore. So there's nothing big happening right now well and that's mainly because of what fucking hollywood's doing well you know? you know hollywood's been on a strike for what fucking two years or something yeah, like that and, uh, well, a lot I, of people are making it may movies. not have been that long but but a lot of your indie directors are still got movies coming out right and ryan and i last week got the pleasure we were contacted by strike media and they sent us a brand new hammer film yeah. which for you horror fans you know hammer that's right hammer time uh they sent us the new hammer film dr jekyll starring eddie Izzard and scott chambers uh we did a little review on that for them and uh fucking cool movie dude. Very it was it was very fun watch uh it should be out on uh i'm not sure if it came out on dvd last week but it I'm, came out last i think week. it came out streaming last week uh but uh yeah, we got to do a little review on that, and it was really cool. Yeah, you guys definitely really check cool. it out. Show some support. Download it or like it. Whatever you can do to help yeah, support absolutely. the indie directors. And right, all the... I mean, Hammer's not necessarily indie, right. I mean, but they kind of are. Uh, you know, Hammer's changed hands quite a few times over the past few years. Uh, but but they're gotta, still putting out... I mean, like this movie, it still felt like them old-school Hammer films, you know? I mean, it was... 
it was cool to watch. I was excited, it, man. The camera work was great. Acting yeah. was great. It was yeah, really you'll have to go check that out. That yep. uh, that episode is coming out real soon. It, it'll be out before you see this one. Probably. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. But, you know, either way. They may go it. out at the same time. Correct. So go check that, that out. That is correct. Because mm. we got to get something out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got to get it out. But, no. Um, so, yeah. You got hate in your heart. Let it out. Let it out. But no, I mean, I just, you know, it sucks because like the movie theater thing is going away and it sucks. You know, we talked about this for a while. Yeah. I mean, and- you know, a lot of things are going away. Uh, my uh, brother-in-law and I today were just, just had a big, long conversation about arcades of all things. I mean, I remember when I was a kid going to the arcade, you know, speak, dude, I'm telling you, there's a freaking really, actually they just opened up a really nice one. I uh, can't remember. It's it called main event. It's in St. Louis somewhere in that area st charles okay, okay. st charles st peter's area all right and it's actually very cool we got a cool one here called keep on gaming <sighs> yes uh the, the very cool place i honestly i haven't been in there yet uh, cool. i just haven't had time My but kids have gone there. i do know a lot of people that have been there and they said it's really cool you know we went to that main mm-hmm. event with the boys up there in st peter's doing it i think it's in st peter's or st charles one of them but anyways it was really cool dude they had like 20 of the uh like glow in the dark uh fluorescent bowling lanes and stuff okay, like that. Okay, cool. The cool. you know that shit. Um yeah. then they had a huge fucking arcade area with a bunch of different virtual reality games, all kinds of stuff. Okay. And then they had a fucking adult area. It was a bar, full bar, pool tables, all that stuff. Nice. All nice. glassed in, but you see everything was going on. Get drunk and play time crisis. Dude, yeah. really cool place. Really cool place. But so when we can support any type of you know horror you know anything like that we have to we have to get it together as the genre as our horror fam and we have to support these guys that way it keeps going you know we maybe hopefully down the road you know hollywood pulls their thumbs out their asses and fucking starts doing something you know what i mean but who knows <laughs> what are you dicking around with here well i was trying to He's trying to do trying stuff. trying to get over here so I could do something. He's trying to multitask things. I, I kind of am. <laughs> he thinks he's a I wanted to look at something here. He thinks he's a multitasker, guys. So I'm moving my screens around here so I can. <clears throat> but actually, I've been digging into a lot of older horror stuff, trying trying to find things I haven't seen. I downloaded this uh, thing. Uh, it's called uh, Fawesome Horror. So Fawesome oh. has it's an app, and they have. I've like, heard that name before. Fawesome like westerns fossum action fossum whatever but uh i got them county blues or something stuck Folsom. in Folsom prison oh Folsom prison yeah that was it yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah but yeah, uh yeah. no i uh i downloaded it and i've been trying to find some movies that i haven't seen um that are older horror right. movies and stuff like that right. there's some shit that i can put out there and give some shout outs and get people watching some good horror movies you know what i mean so what do you got pulled up over here? Uh, so I, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our good friends over at Terror on Route 66. They're doing a really cool thing this summer. They're uh, doing a thing called Halfway to Halloween. And if you guys haven't seen it, Terror on Route 66 is a huge haunted house that opened up, I think, two years ago uh, in Sullivan, Missouri. And they are doing an event. Like I said, it's called Halfway to Halloween, and it's made 3rd and 4th from 7.30 to 11 uh, each night. Uh, It's full access to the haunted house. They're doing food, music, games, movies, monsters, photo ops. Uh, They're going to have special guests. It's 20 bucks to get in. Dude, I'm telling you, it it would be worth a hundred bucks to get in. That's pretty cool. Ryan and I did did a live remote from there last year. And we were blown away at how good of a haunted haunt this was. I mean, yeah. it was it was very long killer, one. killer. Uh, it was definitely worth the price of admission. 100%. And the reason why I'm telling you about this is your boys Ryan and JT may be up there because <laughs> they've invited us to come up and uh, and hang out with them. Yeah. So I think we may do it. We might do that, guys. Yeah, and it was we fun last time we were out there. Yeah, uh, it, it was cool. It was cool. It, it's the haunted house itself is fucking way worth the fucking yeah. cost of getting in. Oh, absolutely. And the travel time. 
when we were there Absolutely. last time, I think what the people have saying they were traveling from like all over. The, I mean, oh, dude, multi- there was three, four, five, six, eight hours. Yeah, like yeah, there was people from all over the place coming in there. But it's um, definitely it's, worth it, and it's not your typical run of the mill small county haunt. Mm-hmm. You know, this is like professional grade Hollywood style attraction. I mean, I, I can't say enough about it, man. These people are killing it. Yep. And Killing you know, it. it's uh what what did it take us like twenty five minutes to get through there, thirty minutes? Uh well, so when I talked to the owner, uh so this is owned by John Kelly, and I talked to him whenever we were there, and he said he he stepped it out and it was three quarters of a mile <laughs> Dang. to walk through this thing, and average walk time through it is around 38 minutes right so yeah it's de- like i'm telling you guys definitely worth the and money i mean it, it is high quality scare i mean good 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 stuff yeah yeah it, it was really cool so shout out to them guys terror on route 66 uh it's uh 1143 north service road sullivan missouri uh, go check them out. Uh, if you if you need some help, just get on our Facebook page. We're we're always posting stuff from them. Tell them Horror Chronicles and, sent you. Uh, tell them Horror Chronicles sent you, and they'll invite us back to I don't know, do something stupid. Yeah, which you we know. like to do. Which things. we're we're going to go back up there. We're all about know. doing stupid things. Um, That's what we do. But anyway, I just want to get that out there. <laughs> no, for sure. Yeah, awesome. But yeah, man. Um, I've been trying to. Uh, I watched. Um, a movie that I hadn't seen in a while. It's been a very long time. I was just while I was folding clothes, trying to freaking find something to watch. I watched, uh, it's called shutter. And, um, pretty good movie. Actually. Uh, it's kind of like those, um, I bet I, I haven't looked into it. I probably should. But I bet it's one of those movies that are based <laughs> off a Chinese or Japanese movie. But basically, it's got the guy from. Why am I drawing a blank? It's got the guy from Dawson's Creek, and he's been in a bunch of oh, other stuff. James Vanderbeek. Matt Vanderbeek, the other oh. guy. The other guy. <laughs> <laughs> the other a, guy. I'm such an asshole. What was it? <laughs> it's called S- Shutter. S H U D D E R. I think it's with T's or D's. I can't remember if it's with a T or D's. It's like for a camera shutter. Oh, S H U T T, right? T T. There you go, Shutter. Yeah, uh, Shutter from two thousand four. Nope. Oh, two thousand eight. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know what you're. I know. I smell what you're stepping you smell in what here. I'm stepping in here. Yeah. Uh, Shutter. A newly married couple discovers disturbing ghostly images and photographs they develop after a tragic accident. Uh, yeah, I do remember this. Uh, the reason why they call it shutter is because it's camera shutter. Yeah. Um, when you started talking about shutter, I thought you were going all bad and going shutter Island. No, uh, Joshua Jackson is who you're talking about. Yes. Yes. Uh, it was directed by you, you get to say that Masayaki Masa. Yeah. Ochi. 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 Yeah. So, like I said, but it's actually really good. I, I actually really enjoyed that movie. Um, yeah, man, I haven't seen that in a I'm long time, I'm not going to tell dude. you the whole concept of it, but, it, you know, if you're looking for something different that you haven't seen in a long time to watch, watch that one, throw it on. Yeah. Um, I watched it on Tubi, I think. Oh, Tubi. Um, but, yeah, Tubi, Fossum Horror has a bunch of Van cool Vagel stuff. Van Vagel TV. Van Vagel TV. Uh. Um, but, no, man, Um. also. Uh, yeah, that's horror. a cool one. Pearl put up a movie that they're coming out. It's a new werewolf movie coming out. Um, <laughs> it's like cocaine werewolf or something like that. Oh, I did see the, something about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, two of my favorite things. Awesome. <laughs> cocaine and werewolves. <laughs> but no, I'm so excited about a new where I just want a new werewolf movie, man. Yeah. I love werewolf yeah. movies. Um, and you don't. Get, I'm trying to think of, and I'm not talking about like you know underworld and stuff like that. I'm talking about like creepy werewolf movies where, you know, like um, Bad Moon or freaking Silver Bullet, The Howling, uh, of course, American Werewolf in London. But like interesting werewolf movie. Uh, there's this movie out there called Howl, 
And basically what it is, is it's people on a train, the train breaks down and then a werewolf comes out of the woods and starts killing these people off. Oh, dude. Uh, very cool movie. I, I, it's, it's like it popped up like on, I don't know, prime or something, a couple, I, I don't know, a couple of years ago or something. Um, and, uh, I was like, oh, I'll watch this. I was drunk one night and thought, oh, I'll watch this, you know, <laughs> and ended up being really good. Must have been a long time ago because you've been uh, yeah, off yeah, the sauce been, for how long now? Been sober over a year now. Fucking congratulations. Buddy. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let me go back over here and look that up because uh, it was very interesting. You uh, talking about talking about werewolf movies. Oh, okay. So it came out in 2015. See, I've been so wanting- it's been out. Of, it's been out a while. Oh, I've actually <laughs> but seen But this that, uh, synopsis uh, is when passengers on a train are attacked by a creature, they must band together in order to survive until morning. Dude, I'm about to watch that one. Yeah, it was it was kind of cool. I mean, it's it's not a star-studded cast or anything, but it was it was a decent movie, man. I, as long as I can watch a good fucking werewolf movie, man. Like, you know, there's a lot of yeah. I mean, look at the one shot on that. Oh, that's cool. That's a creepy ass looking werewolf. Yeah. Almost like oh yeah. Flick. It was cool, man. It was cool. Uh, you know, and talking about other, uh, other, uh, movies, uh, what was, what was the one with the vampire on the airplane? Was that blood red sky? Oh Is that yeah. What that something was? like that. Uh, I don't even want to say that movie was a low budget, but it was like, that was the one. Was that the one with the mom and the head? The mom and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, dude, that movie was excellent, excellent. Every time <laughs> I got to watch, I got to finish watching. That's something I want to do because I was really enjoying it, but I just got so busy. Is I have to finish watching The Strain. Oh yeah, dude, dude, by far. Um, I've only gotten freaking yeah, Blood Red Sky come out in uh, twenty twenty one. Yeah, and uh, you know that was at the height of COVID. Um, actually I'm pretty sure this was a French made film because half the cast were speaking in French, Mm. you know, but it was still worth a watch. I mean, there was a lot of subtitles going on, but then there was also a lot of English going on. Well, you gotta think about it. I really, it was, it was weird, but you know, it's crazy. The, one of the only movies I've ever watched where it was like, had to be, um, Oh, I know which one you're talking about. (laughs) Which one's that? Train to Busan. Yeah. (laughs) Yes. That is probably the best, like, foreign, non-dubbed film I've ever watched. You can watch the dub version of it, of course. You can, but, you know, that movie's worth reading. It's You know, because when you're watching, if you watch that movie dubbed, you miss all the inflection in everybody's voices. You know, it's kind of like watching some of the old Argento Italian Giallo movies, you know, they're, they're speaking in Italian, but it's dubbed in English. And it's like, it sounds so you're not, like you're a, not getting that. So you're, you're not getting that inflection in their right. voice and right. the, the way they, you know, pronounce things. And, you know, a lot of times those movies, I'd rather watch the Italian version, you know, than the, but then there's a lot of those movies. There is no Italian version. <laughs> like, uh, you know, you look at some of those movies, you know, especially ones like John Saxon did a lot of that Italian horror stuff. Right. Well, you know, John Saxon's, I mean, he, he's as American as American can be, you know, but, uh, yeah, I remember, uh, <laughs> one of the first movies I ever seen him in was, uh, freaking, uh, God dang it. Um, enter the dragon, enter dragon. Yes. For me, because I was, you know, I love martial arts movies growing up. I freaking love all that stuff. So, but yeah, and then I shit when I saw him in Nightmare on Elm Street, which is fucking awesome. Uh, but uh, I was gonna go down here and look at. Oh, you looking at all this shizness? Well, I was trying to get down here because he did. Uh. He was in a movie, God, and I can't remember what the name of it was that I just watched not too long ago when he was really young. And uh, it was a horror flick that he did. 
And the show is coming to a screeching halt. Starsky and Hutch is what it was. <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, dude. Six million dollar man. Violent nipples. I mean, Naples. I remember that. <laughs> oh, I forgot he was on Rockford Piles. It's not what I'm looking for. Mm, they made a lot of shit. There's your Enter anything, the man. Dragon. Yeah, Enter the Dragon, man. That's one, yeah. of, my, that's killer, my, one of my main movies, bro. Killer. This guy. Oh, The Sixth Sense? That's a remake, huh? Uh, or that different movie? Pi, but, well, that was an episode of... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that was that was on a series that he gotcha. did. Okay, okay, okay. Um, God, what the hell was that? I just Ooh, watched it the other night. Give up! Give up! Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to give up here. Give up! It's probably gonna pop up. Yeah, see that Burke's Law? It's me. Burke's Time to give law. up, fool. Yeah, now we're getting oh, down. To the, the evil eye is what it was. Uh, I watched that uh, a few weeks ago and uh really good now i couldn't believe how young he was man crazy crazy Ooh, cray, cray dog. dick pal oh, the, the dick, dick pal, pal theater, theater. <laughs> <laughs> but uh oh, shit no man I, yeah i don't know i've just been on an old movie kick here lately well, i've been watching like the other night i watched the ghost of sierra del cobre uh it's from like the i don't know 60 four or something like that it's got martin landau and some other people in it and i just so, you know ghost story kind of movie it's so funny like uh you know your your definition of like old movies and my definition of old movies are so different well it's like my definition of old underwear and your definition of old underwear yeah you know i don't believe underwear i have underwear gets older old. than you i don't believe underwear you know, gets old so, <laughs> so you know it's a myth <laughs> <laughs> it's a damn conspiracy but, uh, but yeah i don't know i've just been uh watching a lot of uh old movies here lately i just so you know i, I still really dig that old movie vibe you know what sucks is that like these new series that are really good like people just don't they're not watching this shit you know or they don't mm -hmm. want to pay for the streaming service or whatever right, it may be right. you know and then they get canceled and you're like fuck yeah um yeah there's a lot of stuff that you know it's like oh yeah like i remember I that series but so like it I, got canceled i haven't finished know? it yet but or even getting close to finish it but like the strain how long did that go uh it was three seasons i'm pretty sure did it finish out or did uh it yes okay cool yes. good okay at yeah, least they, they finished finish it, it out okay good um <clears throat> but uh they they may not finish it the way you want them to finish it but they rushed it. it uh yeah yeah, yeah. like they um it's but, funny uh, i say it's that, still I have fucking worth watching all the way to the end great I, series. I say the same thing great about series. fucking supernatural because like i'm like oh they rushed a the fucking ending but i'm like dude that was like fucking 16 seasons yeah yeah and like you 20, had 16 fucking years to get that right Come right on, damn well it. it's like it, it well in my head i'm like they rushed it but then i'm like thinking about it like no i just literally watched fucking 16 years of fucking tv in three months <laughs> So it's like maybe uh, you know <laughs> maybe they, maybe they didn't rush it. I just kind of felt that way, but you know it is what it is. But no, I definitely want to finish watching that. Like I haven't got. I think I've only like four episodes into the first yeah, season. Uh, yeah, and it was a great series. I, I fucking love that series, yeah, dude. Man. I mean, it was from what I've seen so far. I yeah. might even go back and start um, watching it from. I you. tell you what, that's where I uh, got a got a a love for kevin duran oh dude he's been fucking everything he dude. was the fucking badass and that you know dude like and now he's in everything dude like i he, i loved you know of course is one of my guilty pleasure i guess you say or whatever you want to say but the but legion oh yeah he plays yeah. gabriel dude the way that they made the angels in that movie like at least gabriel you know yeah dude with the wings and dude it was just fucking gnarly bro. dude kevin durand was just in something i just watched the other night uh don't catch him in a lot of things you're like oh shit i didn't even know he was in this movie you know what i mean prime moment to watch that i don't think i've seen that all is who assassins that's a good that's a good God, what was that it was something that um 
but I mean, he's Man, just been in so much stuff, of course. Dude, I really dug that movie, uh, Dark as the Night. Oh, yeah. Dude, that movie, God, that was fucking so good. So good. But man, he was just on something we just watched. Here he goes, guys, down another rabbit hole. Yeah. I don't remember what <laughs> I don't remember what the hell it was, but Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. And it's a movie that we need to talk about. Have you seen the preview for Abigail? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh my god, dude. We need to pause the show so you can watch this trailer. Guys, we're going to be right back. We'll you won't even right, know we were gone. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I can't pause. I got to. Oh, here. Pause. You guys didn't even know we were gone. Yeah. <laughs> they might. I might put that trailer in there. <laughs> Dude, that that looks fucking excellent. Yeah, that looks fucking killer. Uh, new movie. Kevin Durant's on it. That's why I had him in my head. head. Uh, it's uh, called Abigail. And uh, yeah, yeah. You just got to watch the trailer. It's uh, it looks really good. Mo- most of the horror community have seen it already. Uh, what what sucks is, is I don't know that they've given us a release date yet for it. Well, this, I mean, it looks like it's already. It looks like it's done. Yeah, it should but, be wrapped up and done. So uh, yeah, that I definitely I might want to go to see that in theater if they play yeah, it. It, it looks really good. Really looks, good. Surely they will with that with the actor, in it, you know. But um, that looks awesome. But yeah, what's yeah. weird is they don't have him list. They don't have it listed here for his. Oh, upcoming Abigail. Oh, there it is. Kelsey, what does it dude. tell us about it? Let's see here. I mean, that let me scroll down cool. here. See if they give us a release date. Did you know? They usually date April 19th. Oh, yeah. So next month. Nice. Now we got something yeah. forward to. Yeah. Yeah. I so finally, a good movie coming to theaters. Awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to watch that one. And it's not another Marvel movie. <laughs> We're going to have to go see that one in theaters. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, man, I'm just glad that, you know, there's some good good stuff coming out. I actually watched, um, I've been trying to watch them. I really like the way that they, um, They've done like some of the goosebumps and um Dude, that new Goosebump series was really good. Yes, and so is Are You Afraid of the Dark. Um, I just it just seems like no one watches that stuff anymore. No one wants their kids to watch it. They just put their kids on YouTube and let them go, you know. <laughs> I'd be begging my kids to watch it. <laughs> well, my I, my my kids love watching stuff like that. You know, I like when they do you know, for us it's a little weird, but I like when they do stuff horror stuff that's themed towards kids yeah because you know it's not so yeah gory or freaking gory or uh you know um you know which for me a lot of the movies that i really really love there's not a lot of gore in them halloween you know there's hardly any blood in that movie you know uh i like the creep factor of films, you know, one of my favorite movies, uh, the legend of hell house, there's hardly any gore in it at all. Well, there's no gore. There's very little blood. Right. Uh, you know, I think it's just certain genres and things, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm poor, I'm partial to ghost stories, you know? So, I mean, that's, that's the kind of movies I seek out. I do like ghosts. Of course. I love you know, paranormal stuff, yeah. um, but I'm a, I'm a big fucking good versus evil battle. I like yeah. that fucking. Yeah. That's why I love Legion. Yeah. I dislike that fucking battle. Um, the dark, devil's conspiracy. Yes. Dude, that was really good. Uh, the dark tower, dark tower. Yeah. Love yeah. that movie, yeah. man. We used to watch that the other yeah. night. Um, somebody put up a post I saw on, uh, don't mean to keep throwing them out there, but land of the creeps the other night, uh, about the new stand series. Uh, they haven't watched it yet. Mm-hmm. I I remember the original series, but you know I only watched it once years and years ago when it came out. I watched the new stand series uh, oh a couple of years ago, I guess. Uh, it it hit one of my streaming services, probably Hulu or something, and I binged the whole thing, and it was really good. I went to watch that. Yeah, I I, I want to say I caught. I liked it, it better than the, than the original. I want to watch it then. Yeah. Cause that's been a while since I've yeah. seen, and I like that kind of stuff. You know, I like 
apocalyptic shit. I like fucking all that jazz. Um, right. we watched the we watched Blade Trinity last night. I love Blades. Fucking God, I haven't seen that in forever. That's one of my wife's favorite movie. Well, favorite Blade movie and shit like that. She loved that movie. See, and I love the first one. Great. The film. first one was just. Oh, Blade Trinity gets funny. You know, oh you yeah, absolutely. It. Like he's hilarious. You know, fucking. But you uh, seen my dog? <laughs> have you checked? Have the you lobby? checked the lobby? Have you checked the lobby? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, and when he's talking to, uh, he's talking to, they're running blade through everything. Um, and he's like, uh, talking to about that, the chick, um, the vampire chick that he knew. He's like, and this little lass here, unlike most vampires, her teeth inside, located inside her vagina. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, and that's, that's a, a, honestly, it's funny the way Hollywood is. I'm surprised that Marvel hasn't remade that. But you know, how are you going to replace Wesley Snipes in that right. role? I it's mean, it's kind of like most things perfect like, for that. You know? you know, it's one of those deals. Now there's a big thing going around in the horror movie world and all the all the Facebook pages and things that I'm on about who's going to play Kruger. Like they're going to they want to remake Kevin Kruger. Bacon. Well, it's, yeah, it's Kevin Bacon and there's who was ah oh, shit. There was another person. Robert England actually wanted Kevin Bacon to do it. Yes. Um, there was another person that, that would still be weird, right? It's the voice, man. It's just yeah. that iconic yeah. fucking mannerisms, the voice. Um, it's just one of those things. I think Kevin Bacon could probably pull it off. Yeah, Kevin Bacon had uh, had a movie come out not too long ago where, um, oh, and I can't remember the name of it, but basically he had like a split personality in this mm. movie and it was really it was really it was a like a psycho drama I like that one movie he kinda. made uh fairly new newer uh was like the rental or something like that oh i haven't seen that the one where like they go to that he him and his family go i think it's kevin bacon that's in that hey they go they go to this place so he can they rent like this place and like there's more to the house than what he's looking outside the house he's like so I think much... we're talking about the same movie. Oh, are we? I think so. I think so. <laughs> let me let me go over here and look look old Kevin up. Let me get him in there. Yeah, because it was saying something about um, like because I can't I can't remember the name of that guy. There's probably a hundred people out there screaming. Well, yeah, there's yeah. probably not even there's 100 probably people. a person out there going, "Yeah, look this shit up." Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're probably like, "Hey, dumbass, it's this." Uh. Yeah, and I just watched it not too long ago. Oh, it was Footloose. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> let's dance. Oh, uh, let's see. What was it? Oh, Leave the World Behind was I don't know. I, right. I I didn't really care right. about care for it too much. Oh, They and Them is the movie I was thinking of. Oh, They Them. They Them. I haven't watched that yet. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. It came out in 2022. I think Kevin. I think he was in the one I was talking about. Um, but I think it was called like the Rental or something like that. I can't remember when it came out. Um, Ooh, he's in the new Maxine movie. Maxine. I can't wait to see that because I love I love those first two movies, X and, and Pearl. Pearl. Uh, dude, fucking the fucking. Ty West, man, he does some cool shit, dude. Oh yeah, I really fucking dig his stuff. I really dig. that and Damian Leone, man. I am so excited for the new Terrifier movie because I love the first two. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, movie. I'm Toxic sure. Avenger. I'm pretty sure he was in that. Like, um, I just can't remember. I think it was called like the Rental or some shit like that. <laughs> it's funny. Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon was in one episode. <laughs> <laughs> don't surprise me ah greatest kevin bacon movie trimmers <laughs> yeah, okay I, that. I was gonna go friday the 13th but you know right yeah my brother messaged me there he's like dude i didn't know kevin bacon was in friday 13th I'm what like, fuck yeah dog what kind of fucking rock has he been living under hollow man was a really good movie too right fucking Fuck IMDb with their 
<laughs> that movie was awesome, dude. Uh, there's a movie. What's that other that other movie? Uh, what you think it's called? The Rental. I want to say I thought it was The Rental, but I could be wrong. <laughs> the Rental. Maybe not. There's one that came out in 2020. Yeah, I say it was. A, I could uh, be wrong. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's not Kevin Bacon though. Yeah. Someone's probably like, dude, it's this. It's fucking this. Come on, get your shit together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyways, it like We'll never get our shit together, and that's what you love about us. That's right, guys. It'll never fucking happen. It'll never happen. Never happen. But anyways, guys, I think we gave you plenty of shit that you guys could check yeah, out. Yeah, absolutely. But um uh check out the next you know the episodes coming out well i'm we'll <laughs> telling you to check out an episode before it even hits this one will probably come hey out make sure you check out the episode you're listening to right now make sure uh, you guys have listened to this episode yeah <laughs> uh we got some cool stuff coming out uh i think in the next week or two we're going to do another movie review uh because we have not sat down to talk about red night at skies uh, we've got to get it uh, mm-hmm. in the books because for our good friends, uh, Brock Roberts and Chris Grega and uh, Chris Mackey, producer. Uh, we've got to get that uh, get that in the books. Uh, them guys are fantastic, and I love talking about their films. Right. Uh, I want to watch it. So Yeah, absolutely. We're going to make that happen soon enough. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get that in. Uh, we got a lot of cool stuff coming up the next so changes, month or so. Some changes. I mean, we we're um, we're trying to work with better quit better yeah. stuff. So uh, I downloaded a program that I can't figure out how to use, and hey, you know, <laughs> but it looks better. So it looks better. Looks like it'll be fun. A lot more options. But but uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Yes, all right, guys. Be expecting some good stuff. Um, it's it's the ever changing world of you know things you can do with technology technology and stuff like that like we it's got to keep up plus you got to remember we got lives yeah. <laughs> yeah. i mean yeah. i got a job that's about right. all i got now you know, i got freaking two kids and a job and freaking they got fucking taekwondo and ju- you got a lot of music going on right now you know so right and working doing, on a lot of new music i'm uh, hoping to get in the studio here pretty soon I'm working on playing guitar myself. Doing a lot better now. Ryan will not be in the studio with me, but hey. No. I don't know. Maybe someday. I'll be there someday. in spirit. Hey, what you ought to do is bring your guitar over here and we'll write an intro. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Rock on. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we love you. Wild Stallions. We are Wild Stallions. <laughs> 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 oh we love you guys yeah thanks thanks more for poor fan for all your support you know we love you uh it's getting late we're getting slap happy yeah but guys uh check us out everywhere tiktok all that good jazz i'm trying to do stuff over there um but you guys are doing good enough we love yeah. you thank you for all your support more importantly as always until next time keep, keep it creepy, creepy.